Hey guys, when buying your bass speaker for your car stereo, a common question you may have is how to connect a double coil subwoofer? To make the connection is very simple. Just understand the serial or parallel connections and from them. If you can understand the context, you can connect any type of speaker and also any quantity. The parallel connection is the union of the positive pole of one coil with the positive of another coil, and the union of the negative of one coil with the negative of another. With this wiring diagram, we have a decrease in the final impedance value of the speaker, where the impedance is divided by the number of coils. For example, in a 4 ohm double coil speaker, I have 4, which is the impedance, divided by 2, which is the number of coils. The result is 2 ohms, so just choose a module that has a 2 ohm output to match this single speaker. If you have two more subwoofers, for example, the count is the same, just use the final speaker impedance value for calculation. In the example we showed, the result was 2 ohms on each double coil speaker. If I connect them in parallel again, we will have 2 ohms divided by the quantity, which is 2. The result is 1 ohm. Just choose a module with 1 ohm output to match the two speakers. The series connection is a union of the positive pole of one coil with a negative pole of another coil. There will be one negative and one positive pole. It is very important not to connect them in series again with each other, because if they do, they will short the system. With this wiring diagram, the impedance increases, adding up the values of each. For example, in a 2 ohm double coil speaker, I have 2 of a coil, 2 more of another. The result is 4 ohms. Just choose a module that has a 4 ohm output. What we can also do, is the series parallel connection. The series parallel connection consists of using the two connection diagrams, regardless of the order. For example, in a system with two double coil speakers 4 ohms, we can connect the coils of each speaker first. Where in each, we will connect the speakers in parallel. The bill is 4 ohms divided by 2 units. So, we have 2 ohm speakers. After that, we will make the series connection of them, joining the positive of one, and the negative of another. The bill is at 2 plus 2 ohms. Therefore, the result of the series parallel connection is 4 ohms. What we can also do is start the connection of this set with the connection in series and then in parallel. The result of the impedance would be the same. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel. For more information, visit our website. See you.